I am 52 years old today. This is 52. I turned off the filters. I'm outside. I am on my patio in the sun, but there are no filters. This is 52. All of it, imperfections. Got a little bit more of the lines, the wrinkles. Skin is not perfect. A little more wrinkles around the neck, right? This is 52. 52 in the dating scene is hard. It is hard. Um, there, we're constantly taking a look around and looking at the younger girls. Being 52 out there in the dating scene is, it's scary, it's messy, it's complicated, um, all of those things, but I don't really think it's probably that much different than what the younger people are going through. 47 years old, after 25 years married, I found myself divorced. You guys, I thought it was over. I remember sitting on my floor just crying, saying, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm too old to do this again. I'm too old now to fall in love and find the love of my life because how much time are we going to have left, right? Now, some of you are gonna say 47 is so young, but to me, it felt like life was over. And to be honest with you, even into my 50s, I bought my own house. My kids went off, went off to college when I was 50. And then one day I happened to be looking across the bar and saw a guy and I asked my friends, who is that? And they said, we don't know, but we'll find out. Right now I can tell you that for the first time in my life, since my divorce, I feel alive again. And it has really made me realize that I'm 52 now and I feel great. I'm out having fun, I'm dancing, I'm dating, I'm singing, I'm playing, I'm traveling. I'm doing all those things and I have freedom to do it. Well, I've been honest about the dating journey up until now, so why change? So the guy I've been dating with, dating for eight months just came over and broke up with me. Honestly, I'm gonna say that I knew it was coming. I mean, we've, we've had some ons and offs and aren't really compatible in the long run. But that doesn't mean it hurts any less. After eight months, that's a long time. The hardest thing for me is that he just committed like three weeks ago and told me that he considers me his girlfriend and has told everybody else. And so what did I do? I put him right back on Facebook and prayed at him in front of everybody. <sighs> like, here's my guy. I had the time of my life this year. And when I met him in March, I came back to life. I got my confidence back. I played, I laughed. I I did I camped. I ate sushi. <laughs> I did things I've never done before. I ran barefoot through the sprinklers and into the cold waters camping and peed up behind a tree. <laughs> all the things I swore I'd never do. I don't have any regrets at all. And now I feel like it's time for me to go play. I want to be single. I want to go play. I want to have fun. Um, I probably want to date multiple people and find out who I really want after all that time. You know, I was married 25 years. So since I was 21 years old, I was married. I don't know really what, it, what I want in life, you know, as a, as a partner. Maybe I don't even want a partner. Maybe I want to just go have fun, flirt around, date a little, you know, just have a good time. I don't have to, we're not required to settle down. And if